right, Reaper team. Good afternoon. It is uh, January 22nd, I think, right? Yeah, January 22nd. So Zachy and I are embarking on a fun adventure today. So we are leaving Brigantine, New Jersey, my hometown, and uh, we're driving about 45 minutes north, and we're gonna go take a look at a riverboat. So um, we may be getting River Reaper. We can name it River Reaper, right? Oh yeah. All right, good, okay. So we're gonna name it River Reaper. Um, I said before, my buddy Yash, he bought a house right up on the Molica River. It's pretty far west of the Molica. Um, but in the winter, there's a decent, you know, white perch fishery up there. And um, in the summer, we'll have a, a nice crabbing boat so we can go up to uh, more brackish water and, and go crabbing. So we're gonna go check it out. It's, uh, how big is it? 16. Yeah, it's a 16 foot, what is it? Yeah. 16 foot sea nymph it's got a 20 horsepower suzuki yeah it's got a 20 horsepower suzuki right with um and it's got electric start and an electric tilt which um i don't think all those smaller motors have so so we're excited so hopefully um the guy uh isn't too set on his price because it's a little high for us <laughs> so we've got uh, a bunch of cash in hand and uh we're feeling confident that we're coming home with a boat right zaggy confident oh yeah. oh yeah so so we'll see i'll check back with you guys when we get up there Look at that pier, team. Looking, looking awful motley today, bud. All right, guys, so this is the Molka River here. So this is what we're getting the boat for. There's the Molka Chestnut Neck Boat Yard. Good crabbing up in here. All right, team, so we uh, we just checked out the boat. I'll show it to you in a second. And uh, yeah, we made a deal with the guy. He seems super cool. Definitely our kind of people, right, Zachy? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He seems like seems like a good dude. And uh, what's really neat is the boat. It looks awesome. It looks. It's actually a little bit probably bigger and too nice for what we want, but um, it looks great. The engine's like brand new, and uh, you can tell from the, from the gentleman that he takes care of his stuff. So so we settled on a price. So we literally have to just go pick up a couple hundred more bucks. And uh, we're gonna go back and pick it up. So I'll show it to you. Super pumped, man! It's the uh, the new River Reaper. So our our fleet is growing, Zach. Yes. Right. I'm gonna sell my kayak if anybody wants it. <laughs> oh, are you? Yeah, I know I am. Yeah, I mean, what do you need it for, right? I got a little boot. Yeah. Maybe I'll see. We attach the things. Yeah. So uh, yeah, super pumped. So the fleet is growing. How many boats we got now? Four. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Four boats. Yep. Four boats. Reaper, Low Reaper, River Reaper, Yo Jer. Yep. Pump. Pump. Super pump. What do you see, guys? This thing's awesome. All right, guys. Here she is. 16 foot sea nymph. <laughs> what do you think, Zachy? Yeah. <laughs> move the seat. I'm not left handed. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how, that's how I drive it. That's okay. You know, You'll get used to it. No, it's okay. Pretty cool guys, 16 foot sea nymph. She's got a live well, it's got all new carpet. It's got some neat storage. We'll show you the full thing later. But yeah, we got seats up front, trolling motor. Oh man, Zach, we can go bass fishing too. Oh yeah. We can go largemouth fishing, you know? Dude, let me see the fish finder. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's so cool. That's just <laughs> awesome. Dude, we're using it. Yeah. Yeah, old school. There's a motor. You want to keep it on the car? Brand new, guys. Brand new. There she is, guys. Troll motor works. <laughs> Another boat. They're hooked up, ready to go. So new perch boat, crabbing boat, and uh, maybe we'll even take it up here winter flounder fishing. It's one of my new uh, new goals in life, catch a winter flounder. So all my Reaper crew, if you got any winter flounder spots, uh, you don't mind sharing, let me know. Uh, I'm gonna try that this spring, hopefully. I've been saying it for years, but the weather just always stinks. All right, Don, thanks, partner. Good meeting you.
Alright guys, Saturday. Uh, brought the boat home last night. Here in the driveway. Um, just checking her out now. It is freezing out. I'm not gonna last long. I'm probably just gonna putz around, uh, putz around, check her over the trailer, put some air in the tires. But got the motor up, battery works. So the batteries are from 2012. So I'm gonna test them, you know, just a cautionary side. Nine years for batteries, pretty good. But here we go. This boat's great. Jay the tour. But got a cool uh, battery compartment here, some storage. And we got live well. This is gonna be cool. Get some uh, grass shrimp for some perch. Let's see. Little storage. Climbing forward. A rip. And, and anchor locker. And he's got it all nice. This is almost way too nice for me and Chris. Well, for Chris. He's gonna destroy his thing. Just kidding, mate. And we got the old Evan Rude electric motor, cable uh, steer. Still works. Might have to replace that battery too. That one's from 2012 also. But I don't know. Let's see how well it works. But yeah, she's cool. I feel light. Got a pole for the cover. It goes like this. So just like that, and the cover will drape over it. So it doesn't uh, fill up with water. And the aft here's got it set up. Switch panel for the lights, live well, and the bilge. And the bilge and the live well pumps right there. Battery will go there for the engine. And then here it's got more storage. And some safety stuff, first aid kit, extra oil, flares, uh, lights. And then I had looked at it, that says it's a trailer jack. I've never seen one like that. I have to look up how to use it. it looks pretty neat. But not too much to do. It's gonna go over the engine, I'll show you that. Um, put some air in the tires and it's gonna change out the old uh, fish finder. But I have my uh, old Garmin from the, the Yojer, so we'll throw that on here. And then, too cold to maiden today, plus Chris is at work. But, maybe tomorrow. But Chris has got work tomorrow, but, not my fault. Okay, here's the engine. Um, I don't know what year it is. Could probably look up uh, the VIN, see what year it is. Probably got it on here somewhere. But, it's a uh, electric tilt. Which is pretty cool. And then electric start, a little lanyard off, but turn right over. But once again, I'm not hooking a hose up to the car. My hose is probably frozen right now. It sucks out. But yeah, that's it. I'll probably just throw this motor on, take two minutes. But other than that, check the trailer, put some air in the tires, and should be good to go. You. too nice for us for what we're gonna use it for came with a cool motor motor stand bimini and uh yo jer she's covered up but she's ready to go to moment's notice the t-top i got the fish master t-top just folds down see that and then you just fold it up four bolts so pretty cool so yep, just gonna throw these batteries on the tender. I'll test them out, and then uh, hopefully get her in the water tomorrow. That'd be cool. It says uh, the guy Don we brought it off. It says it goes pretty good with the 20 horse. Um, so it don't. He says it don't get on plane. I think it will. I don't know. She's definitely heavy, but we'll see. All right. So in typical fashion, I couldn't not do anything. So working on getting transducer on for my uh, old Garmin. Go. Motor's on. 
just cleaning up a little bit of wiring. Not a whole lot, but almost done. Oh, there's Hazel. She's getting in trouble. Come on. Easy. There's Gus. Old, my old man. Going blind. Barely go walk, but all he cares about is food. Right, bud? Easy. Mommy's home. So I'm all done. Got a new transducer on. Well, new for the boat, the old Garmin we had. But uh, light works. Straightened up everything. In the battery compartment here. Cleaned up some wires. I think there's an old VHF. There's a fuel tank. But everything's ran. Light works up front. So cool. So yeah, basically just gonna charge the battery for the trolling motor. Um, uh oh, not good. Need a tire to check that out. Maybe uh, maybe the valve stem got stuck. Oh, well. but uh, <laughs> almost almost good to go. So hopefully next time we see it, we'll be on the water with her. But uh, thanks for tuning in. See you next one. Phew.